Yes, first and foremost, I'm uh, Isi Pere Majesty, Pere Boris Zakios Dobre, Gundi JP, FCA. Opukuti de Tor, the Akadakba, the Prime of the Guijo Kingdom. I'm very elated. I'm very happy to receive my brother from the Guma Kingdom, the Bini Pere Four of the Guma Kingdom, the Akadakba. Today, and the business that you see is very monumental and historical. And I'm very happy to receive him and his team. Thank you. The Majesty, how historical is this visit? Looking at the history. So. Very historical in the sense that I have never had, and I may be wrong, I stand to be corrected, that Igbeba King ever came to visit the King ever in history. I've never had. Probably it's happened, I mean, I've been told, I don't know. But I have never had in this history. And I've equally not heard that Arabo King visited the Igbeba Kingdom. I've never heard. It may, it may or might have happened before, but I don't know. Nobody has ever told me that. That's why I say it's historical and monumental. It is the first, or probably I may say, like I said, I stand to be corrected. I'm going to mention in the history and the annals of the history of these two kingdoms that an Egbema king deemed it necessary to come and visit his brother in Arabo kingdom. That's why I say it's very historical. Thank you. No, sir. Uh, this, you see, the synergy, how do you see it in the next future? <sighs> it is... Uh, uh, it, is, it shows that it pretends that we have a very bright future. It pretends that we have a workable future. It pretends that we have a future that we can be proud of because we are going to synergize, like you said, using your language, we're going to synergize and work for the mutual and mutualistic benefit of both kingdoms. Igbe man and Igbe. I've just said so. I said that everything that happens in the Igbe man kingdom, Igbe we will fight for it. Agwebe is there to struggle for it. I get it right. I just said some few over there. I said that Agwebe Kingdom is very better, the way we see it from our own perspective, in Delta region, in Delta states, but not as we expect in Edo states. And that is not to our pleasure. It's not the pleasure of a John nation. It's not the pleasure of Agwebe Kingdom. And therefore, this visit and the attendance Prospects in the future will show that we we'll work hand in hand to ensure that the Joy Bay is fully liberated in the Western Niger region. Thank you. The Majesty is that one thing is for the throne to be, the other thing is for the person sitting on the throne. You understand me, sir? Yes. So, how would you describe this person sitting on that throne? What do you see for the future of the Burma Kingdom? The person sitting on the throne, like I said, somebody was there before. That not be so. Yes. <laughs> that is the broken, you know. Uh, I said the broken. Somebody was there before. Yes. But like I said, I never had that he found it necessary to visit my predecessor in office. I never even had that my predecessor in office even found it necessary to visit him either. But the person in office this time around found it necessary to come and visit me. Although I had to visit him when he was doing one year in office. I first visited him, and now he's paying that visit to me. That shows that the person in his office and the Christ of that person in his office is determining what his throne can be tomorrow. Yes. The person in office is a monumental factor in determining what that throne will be and what will dictate and come after that throne. The person, the Christ of that person, the take that person, the time is a lot. That's why people, when they are picking their kings, be very, very careful. And so, who you make your king, who you make your king will make your throne. He can mark the throne. And make the throne for you. So, Your Majesty, if you are to advise Egbema people, mm -hmm. what kind of support do you want to come up and tend to support uh, uh, their present monarchs? My friend, I have a question now. You saw this, you saw the answer is obvious. You have a king like this, you have to, you have support, you have to support him. So, with all what you have, with all your words, all your knowledge, with all your academic and qualifications, support him to the maximum and give him the full support that he can get as the best of the Kingdom. 
So the divisions of citizenship are citizenship, we can get them. The political divisions, we can get them. Economic divisions, we can get them. And all other divisions that we can get them to our own kingdom and to enjoy Niger, the Niger, the Niger, the Niger, the Niger in all. That's what I think we should do. Thank you. Uh, a word of advice for other traditional rulers. Mm. A word of advice for other traditional rulers is that I, as a Gadago, are good kingdom. The primary reason why I'm your kingdom, my advice for that solution is that we should work together. We are one only ethnic group, the fourth largest in Nigeria. But if you look at the history of Nigeria, we are brutally and wickedly being balkanized into about six states. That will make it all to be fragmented, make it all to be few and minority in everywhere where we are. The Jews are married in those states. The Jews are married in those states. The Jews are married in the private Delta states. And every other state like that is just a minority. But if we are in one or two states, we will form a majority. You can have our own representatives, whoever we want them to be. Therefore, the Jewish nation, the monarchs must speak with one voice. The issue of divisism, and I am the only one there, and all the rest of that, we should put them aside. Let's work together for the benefits and betterment of the joint nation. That is what we all belong to. We all have one, 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 one job. There's only one person I call it job. That one, I beget all the children that we're talking about. It's job. It's the name of a person. It begets all what we have in as a joint nation. We should work towards that end, with common unity and purpose. Everybody yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you very much. The purpose of this visit, I can say, is of two faces. One, this is my home. Maternally, I'm from Aroboibe, which is in Ondo State. And uh, I deem it fit to visit my home, visit my brother, my friend, my colleague, to show him the love I have for him and the need for us to work together. And uh, traditionally, once a monarch is installed, other traditionals will visit, traditional rulers will visit. He has done that for me. He visited me. So this one, again, is a return visit. So I have vowed not to visit any other kingdom before visiting this place. So I said, let me visit Arubo Kingdom first. That is my home, before I visit any other place. So that is why I'm here. I find it very, very important, and it is needful for me to visit, so that we have a working relationship as brothers. Thank you. So, sir, uh, aside this visit, sir, in further, furthermore, I think uh, this visit, what this actually pertains for the Egbema and Arubo Kingdom. That is what I have said to I want to build a working relationship between the Egbema and the Arubo Kingdom. We are all brothers. We are the same with your people. There is need for separation. Uh, like as my colleagues have said before, uh, history has never recorded it that the Egbema Kingdom or the monarch in Egbema visited the Arubo monarch. It has never been so. So today we made it happen. It is an history and it needs to be recorded. And uh, I was also told in the time past, the monarch from Ondo State, from Arubo, actually visited the king in Egbema. But uh, there was this belief that two kings never met, they never see each other. So he refused to see him. He refused to see him. So that happened uh, in my in, in our forefathers, it happened. But today, it was not so. That is, uh, that is not true. It's not the belief. Today, I've met with my colleague. We have built a relationship so that these kingdoms will work together. Not just only Egbema and Arubo. The joy at last. We need to work together. We need to create a relationship, a working relationship. And that is one of the, another purpose of my visit. Looking at it, said the job people are from different places, mm. and when we're coming to you, see some levels of uh, I don't we can't say under development. When we want to call for we look at there are multinationals people taking the natural resources from here to other places. Mm. What is your call today in order for these areas in your nation, mm. Niger letters to be developed? 
Mm, the country Nigeria we find ourselves, the leadership is corrupt. And they said the Ijo area, the territory, is, uh, is very difficult to develop. The terrain is very difficult to develop. It's not. In other places, go to uh, Europe world. The river lines, they are tourist centers that need to be developed for activities to take place. You see, as we pass through those villages, they are underdeveloped. And we feed the nation of Nigeria we have. The oils you are seeing, the multinational, they are operating, but they take the resources from us and they forget to do anything measurable to what they are taking from us. I think those are some of the reasons we need to see as come together, uh, at least uh, talk to the government. We are traditional rulers, we cannot promote crisis, but ours is to talk to make sure we compel them to do the needful. I think that is why we are here.